Airgrid announced last week that after a world-leading, groundbreaking project, three-quarters of the electricity flowing through our national grid can now come from variable renewable sources, such as this wind farm here at Mount Lucas in County Offaly. No other country in the world can come anywhere near that, and very few have the potential wind resources that we have. Now, the wind industry is raring to go. It says that Ireland's electricity can be net zero emissions by 2035. Right now, on board Planola, are supposed to turn around planning timeframes within about 18 weeks. Renewable projects for the last two and a half years or so have spent more than 60 weeks in the planning system. The same can be said for electricity grid infrastructure. So we need to see them resourced up and we need to see them put a priority on delivering renewable energy. RWE, one of the largest renewable operators here, said this morning that it is going to invest €1.5 billion Euro in offshore wind, onshore wind and battery technology over the next eight years. Never before has climate change targets and energy security targets been so interlinked. So it's about speed of deployment, getting projects in the ground, getting the renewable electricity generated. Back in 2004, Ireland had the largest offshore wind farm in the world with the Arklow Wind Bank off the coast of Wicklow. We were world leaders, but we have done nothing with that advantage. We've added no new offshore wind and we've fallen way behind other countries in the meantime. The target now is to have 200 times more electricity generated in offshore wind farms within eight years. The money is there, the investors are there, the technology is there, but they're all waiting for the planning system to be improved so that they can get ahead with the job. George Lee, RTE News at Mount Lucas in County Offaly.